Welcome to Zeiss Reverse Engineering, your software solution for surface reconstruction and tool correction. In this video, I'll show you how to directly convert an STL into a CAD file. If you want to try things in ZRE, take a look at the description below. There you'll find links to download a trial version and training data. I'll open an existing project. The mesh in this project is aligned, watertight, and all artifacts have been removed. That's important. You need a watertight mesh without additional loading data to reverse engineer it. If you have open seams in your mesh or additional scan data, please use the mesh editing functionalities in ZRE first. For more information, look at the video Edit and Align Meshes in Zeiss Reverse Engineering. So much for the prerequisites. Now let's get started. You could use the search function in the action bar to find the function. But what if you have no idea what you're looking for? The action bar is designed to guide you to the right place. We're working with scanning data and we want to create a cat. And in the action bar, you'll find create from scanning data. Here, you can choose between best fit functionalities, feature extraction, and approximations. We're dealing with an organically shaped part, so approximations is the way to go. And here you find automatic mesh-based surface creation. On a side note, if you find yourself using the same functions over and over again, you can add them to your bookmarks for faster and easier access. Just click the star here. Okay, now let's look at the parameters in the dialog. First, you need to select a mesh. Make sure that element selection is active and click the mesh. Then click Calculate Segmentation. That's how the ZRE software converts the triangle mesh to a quad mesh. When I zoom in, you can see the resulting quad mesh. Under Number of Segments, you can see that we have about 147,000 segments. If you want to increase the accuracy of the quad mesh, you can increase the number of segments, say to 300,000, and calculate the segmentation again. Please note that the computation time increases with a higher number of segments and smoothing iterations. Before you execute the command, make sure that the stitching is activated. If you deactivate it, you might end up with open seams. Now you can either click Execute or Execute and Close. If you look at the Model Explorer now, you can see a new category, Bodies, with the element we just created. When I hide the mesh, you can see the result. The edges may look strange to you because of their varying size and distribution, but that's not really a concern here. This automatic functionality is typically used for organically shaped parts if you want to make changes, say, add constructed elements to an automatically generated surface, or use it for milling, for example. To get a better impression of the quality of your cat, use the toolbar to hide the edges. Now, of course, you don't have to rely solely on your impression of the cat. Zeiss Reverse Engineering offers tools for quality analysis. In this video, I want to show you how to analyze the distance between the mesh and our created cat model. To do that, open Analyze in the action bar. Select Distance Analysis and then Nominal Actual Comparison. Again, the assistant tells you what to do next, which is select a reference element. This can be a body or a surface. And select Actual Data, which means a point cloud or a mesh. You can select the elements in the cat window I'm currently displaying the resulting cat model or body. When I click on it, you can see that the body is colored blue, which corresponds to the color of the reference element in the function dialog. Once you select the required element, you'll see a little check mark beside it in the dialog. Since I'm not displaying the mesh in the cat window, I'll select it in the model explorer. As you can see, it's now colored purple both in the Model Explorer and the Cat window. 
Next, you need to choose the accuracy for the distance analysis. Detailed means that the distance to the cat is calculated for every point. If there are any outliers, the computation would take a long time. This can be remedied if you use user defined. Here you can enter a maximum search radius of 5 mm, for example. In most cases, user defined works best. Underneath, you can set a tolerance range. If you don't define a tolerance, ZRE does it for you when you click Analyze. It sets the tolerance range such that 66% of all analyzed points are within range. In other words, at a tolerance range of 97 microns, 66% of the analyzed points are within tolerance. That's an incredibly tight tolerance range for this statue. So let's change it to 0.1 millimeters. As you can see down here, 96% of the points are in range with a tolerance of 0.1 millimeters. You can also change the color scale. By default, regions with a negative deviation are displayed in blue, regions with a positive deviation in red, and everything within tolerance is green. But feel free to try other color scales. The legend on the right indicates the value ranges the colors correspond to. To get an overview of the statistics of the distance analysis, look at the information window. It shows the number of points, the maximum positive and negative distance, and so on. To see the actual deviation value for certain points, use the point-by-point -point evaluation. Check the box Set Evaluation Mini Tables. When you hover over the part, you get a preview. To create a mini table, use the left mouse button. When you're done, deactivate the function again. If you want to document your results, use Take a Snapshot in the sub toolbar. If you get this error here, you need to define a folder for your snapshots. To do that, open Settings. Under General, you can set a storage location for snapshots. Simply click the folder and navigate to the folder you want to use. Now take a snapshot to save your result. Close the analysis and let's move on to the last step, the export. Exporting the CAT model is easy. Select the CAT model, either in the Model Explorer or the CAT window. Open Export Geometries and select only the selected elements. Choose a folder, name the file and select a file type. I'll export the CAT model as a step file. And that's it. You created your first CAT model in size reverse engineering. The automatic mesh-based surface approximation works well for organic shapes, but it's far from the only option to create CAT models in ZRE. Want to find out more? Then check out the videos Reverse Engineering for Rapid Prototyping and Reverse Engineering for Mechanical Parts. And if you want to dive deeper, take a look at our trainings for Zeiss Reverse Engineering. You'll find the link in the description below.